Hey, folks, it's a man once again, and I had just some Hershey's cookies and cream, which I like. Sorry, I was just sort of my ode to Michael Keane, who reviewed this film, said it was a piece of shit. So, of course, I watched this. And, uh, gee, Michael Keane wasn't lying. <laughs> I'm fucking shot. But I watched it, so I might as well talk about it. Of course, it made sense. It's directed by Oliver Megaton, who did Transformer 3. Fucking. And now Megatron's the directing fucking Taken 2. That film's doomed. Of course, this film fucking says directed by fucking Decepticon. Megatron should never direct a fucking movie again. He's not Megatron. Great, he's a Megatron of full bullshit. She director keeps getting jobs. I don't get it. I don't get it. So fucking Megatron. Might as well be Megatron. Fucking only evil. You have uh, Zoe, Sal Zoe Saldana. Starring this film. Corbin Roy, Robert Mark Kamen, who I think wrote Karate Kid. Also co written by Luke Besson, and you guys have done better. I don't know what the fuck you guys were smoking when you made this movie. I bet you. I would say long story short, but it's never short. Zoe Zeldon's character, she was a kid, and her father was working with this drug guy. He wants to leave. And of course, you know, the dumbass saying, Oh, yeah, so you my son. you like a son to me. you like a father to me. Oh, go ahead and leave. You must kill him. And of course, you always fucking wonder. This is what I wondered. Why the fuck didn't I kill him on the spot? Because it's like, he's going to kill the guy. There's a guy right behind him that I just had a... A cross chain, but it looked like he had something to choke the guy with. It's like, why didn't you just order the guy to choke him? You know, boom, right there. You don't tell me what the fuck I want right now. I will choke your ass. I will go to your wife and kid. I will fucking rape your kid and kill your wife, or rape your wife and kill your kid, or do both or do neither. Tell me what the fuck I want to know. Because bad guy is stupid, that's why. So he goes, meets the wife. His his wife and kid. The kid's supposed to be young. This is always so dumb. He was actually a fan of Xena, Warrior Princess. <laughs> I liked Hercules, but I did not care for Xena. So that's another trouble thing right there. No offense to anyone who likes Xena. But I always like Hercules more. But. <laughs> so anyway. I had. I got reference Michael Keane's review to this. He did a good job. He had a lot of good points. Like the fact that the mom and dad are getting ready. They don't tell the kid to hide, hide under the table, go out the window. In fact, they could have told him to go out the window then. No. We don't tell him nothing. She's going to sit at a fucking coffee table, or whatever. While her mom and dad get guns and go out. What's funny is, they go out and 30 seconds later, they run back in. So I'm like, you run out with guns, ah, and then 30 seconds later, ah, ah, and then they get shot, of course, in front of the girl. I'm like, so why didn't you just, I don't know, um, if you don't only be out there for 30 seconds, why didn't you, I don't know, put shit in front of the door? Just a thought, put shit in front of the door. Push it in front of the door, and then it's like, come and get some. Boom, boom, boom. You know, put furniture in front of the door. They come in, boom. No. For some reason, they just run out, like, ah. Then 30 seconds, it's like, oh. And then the mom and dad get shot cause for being stupid. Like, they got killed by stupidity. And then you actually got the, the bad guy from Bad Boys 2. And I didn't mind this scene, because uh, I know the bad guy's like, even though it's really stupid, because it's like, the little girl just saw you kill her mom and dad, 
why the fuck do you think she's gonna talk to you? So, <laughs> I take better what I just said 10 seconds ago. <laughs> but, I like the idea, but the way it's handled. But I like the idea, okay, you have a villain who's trying to be smart and trying to, um, like, don't kill the girl, you know, we need her information. But uh, they just handle it the wrong way. And she stabs the guy in the hand and runs. I know this bothered Michael Keane, her running like a track star, like she's in the Olympics. For some reason, it didn't bother me. I guess if I could handle that little girl in dress part two, drop kicking raptors, I guess I could handle this. For some reason, that didn't bother me. But. I don't know why it just didn't bother me. <clears throat> but uh, she has this little thing she swallows and ultimately vomits and goes to the, I guess, the embassy, you might as well call it. So she can go to America. And long story short, meets up with this uncle who's actually the, her uncle is the bad guy from uh, Collateral Damage. Sorry, I forget their names. I, I don't. The actors didn't do a bad job. I just didn't care. Look it up. Really don't. <laughs> and I remember Michael Keane explained this in his review. I'm like, nah, it can't be like that, but it is. Um, she wants. He wants her to go to school. Gives the principal money. Leaves. And. She's like, I want to be a killer. And he's like, no, you have to go to school. You have to do this, do that. And she's like, no, I want to be a killer. Oh, you want to be a killer? Right then there in broad daylight. I swear they were right in front of the school too. Just a random car. And I'm like, wow. Everybody here is an asshole. I hope they all die. This guy just killed an innocent random person. Shot the fucking car up and everything. And you saw like 50 people over there. <gasps> and he stands around just talking. See? You can't just be a... T Obviously you can be just a killer because you got away with it. Oh, it must be psychological. What? You fucking mind freaked them to death? You mind freaked them all? You, you went on scanners on everybody to make them forget? Cops come and they're the shitty ass cops because they don't look around. See, um, like one person would be pulling, oh, that motherfucker. They at least point to expect a reward, let alone, oh shit, that's the guy who did it. But, <laughs> wow, that is shitty. Michael Keane, if you're listening, I. Transporter 1 and 2 are much better than this film. Much better because I'm saying that because even they, even though they may not have the best in logic, they're at least very entertaining, and that's the problem with this film. It's not entertaining either. But Transport One and Two, I swear to God, whether Michael Keane likes them or hates them, Transport One and Two are much, much better than this movie. Much better, even if he hates them, they are better than this movie. Transport Three, though, can kiss my ass. Of course, from the same director, fucking Decepticon. But, so it's 15 years later, and now she's an assassin. And then you have the whole business idea that Michael Keane had talked about, where she pretends she's a drunk, gets herself in jail, because this other guy's in there, and goes through this extraordinary thing in order to kill the guy. Um, I will say, though, uh, I will answer Michael Keane's question. He asked, you can unlock stuff with a bobby pin. The scary thing is, they actually explain online how to do it. <laughs> There's actually sites that explain how you can unlock doors with bobby pins. <laughs> so, the days of the internet, huh? But yeah, you can do that. And that jail cell looked like shit, so yeah. You can do it. I guess, you know, if you have 15 years of experience being trained in this stuff, I, that I can buy. I mean, I, you know, I've seen enough Mission Impossible, James Bond stuff to be like, okay, I can buy that. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I mean, I understand the reality is not always, sometimes it pisses me off, sometimes I let her go, like James Bond stuff, but, so that didn't bother me. I, 
I know the bit with the he had probably was like they left her coffee and a, a spoon. See, if they had filmed it that she had asked for that stuff, as they may have a, you know, I know I'm drunk, but can I, may have some coffee. And then, okay, you know, it's once in a while they give a request. Granted, I've never been in jail, but I can, I don't see how it hurt, you know, to give a request. Okay, you know, they give you meals in jail, so, you know, a cup of coffee. If they give her coffee and, like, a wooden, sp uh, uh, a wooden, a plastic spoon, that would make more sense. Um, but, I mean... If they had had a scene where she asked for a cup of coffee, it would probably make more sense to people. Instead of one just sitting there just out of the blue. The problems I had was she comes out, she fucking once again you gotta have the cliche of the fucking guard not paying attention to what's on screen. I mean, I've seen it a lot in the 80s, but this is 2011. Can we get past the, oh, the, the lazy security guard, a fucking cop who can't look at the computer screen. He has the paper right here. And she literally walks up and moves the camera to look at the fucking corner. You tell me all the times she looked, he didn't know, hmm, that camera doesn't show shit. Hmm. Oh, look at this camera over here. It does not so shit. It is looking at the corner. Hmm. I better investigate. No. Even by the next day, nothing. <laughs> That's stupid. But at least if it's like, okay, and she has a plastic spoon, then at least it'd be like, okay. Maybe if you have 15 years of experience, if these don't go your way, you improvise. That's how I would assume. That's how it work. Like, okay, she had a tip that the guy would be there. She goes in, and she has the thing, so she can unlock the door. And Of course, the whole deal is, how did she know the cop is a fucking lazy fuck that wouldn't see the camera and being turned to the fucking corner? I don't know. She got lucky there. But it was okay if she didn't... If she didn't have the cup of coffee, she maybe... she did get the stuff in the break room. I mean, break room has to have something similar to that. But leaving the cup there and the guy open is like, oh, there's a cup here. Oh, okay. And throws it away. I'm like, that's not a little suspicious that you found a cup of coffee. And it's like, it's basically the little deal that she goes into ventilation sh and is able to crawl to where the fuck the guy in the jail cell is at that she's going to kill. And she needs to stop the fan. So she had rid this thing with like one drop, two drop, and the spoon will hit here and it'll fucking do this whole thing here and go out someone's asshole and zzz. but the cop finds the oh here's a cup hmm, I wonder how guy here oh well it goes away <laughs> that is pretty stupid that's very stupid fucks up the guard kills the guy I agree with Michael Keane she just go boom boom and like she knows how to fight, right? Why didn't she, you know, beat him up and break his neck? Or beat him up and put his fucking nose through his brain? Or beat, you know, or beat him up and then take a pill and go, But no. She doesn't. Because if she did that, they wouldn't be alerted and she could go back and take her fucking time. But no. Can't do that. And the rest of the movie is just boring. I mean, it's... She kills another guy with... This fucking shark swimming. And she's able to swim past them. I swear to God, it's like she able to swim past them. The fucking sharks in this pool. With this, like, it's one of those pools that had the glass case over it. The sharks. She's able to swim past them for some fucking reason. I don't know. She must have an anti-smell uh, coagulant come out of her pussy. And lifts the fucking glass and comes out of there and, you know, somehow got to the guy to paint Thief on there without 
any of the girls waking up or some shit. Um, get the fuck, and also take all the bullets out of the guy's gun. Just so he can walk out, hey, turn around, tries to shoot her, the guns are empty. I'm like, how the fuck did she get to the guy with all these bitches, not bitches leave or anything, they're fucking still asleep. Pay this fucking thief or whatever the fuck on the guy's chest. Have him walk up and then shoot him and he falls. And I guess, oh, he's got blood. That's why the sharks kill him. Then you have the subplot that she has like this boy toy boyfriend. Literally goes nowhere. Nothing to it. Fucking shit. I didn't mind the actor who played like this FBI agent guy. Um, forgot his name. He's he's the black guy of the movie, but he doesn't die and he's not an asshole. Get put parade for that. I will disagree one thing with an, one uh, thing with Michael. I didn't mind the guy's reaction. Just he comes in and this girl basically tells him to sit down in a chair and there's a bomb underneath the chair. It's like you get up, you're dead. You don't. You don't uh, find out where this guy's at. I will kill each of your family. You know, every week I'll kill part of your family. I thought the guy's reaction when he went in was was reasonable. Because it's like, I thought it made sense. I mean, if so, I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But if I come into my home, some girl goes, you sit in this chair. There's a bomb underneath. I'm ready to die. And then the same girl says, okay, I'm able to get you and this bomb underneath your chair. I'd be afraid for my family. I thought the guy handled it. I, you know, he wasn't like a blow. Oh, please, please. He was like, let me tell you something. You know, she's going to kill my family. We got to do something. Come on. I thought the guy handled it well. So I, I didn't mind that. And also, I didn't mind the scene. I guess I, I misheard what Michael said. I thought he said that it seemed like, because the guy goes in and tosses his other asshole. Well, this asshole. And, you know, he gets a phone call and says, uh, you know, she, you know, she's on the phone and she wants you to give me the address so she can hear it. Otherwise, you know, she don't take you out. And the guy's like, oh, I got this glass that only this and that can get through. And I thought he said that she shot a missile. Might be another. I might have heard it. But it's like a high powered sniper rifle. So it makes like a hole of that bid through the window and then hits the the picture and then guys like okay okay you know and gives the the info because I know Michael had a problem with that because you know the girl Zoe Saldana says you know oh yeah she wants you to keep this confidential and I could see it because she shot one shot a high power sniper rifle who knows maybe miles away I mean who knows maybe miles away. Shot about that big. It was one shot. Um, I can see that. I can see that. You know, you, you hear a shot. Like, what the hell was that? Was that a car backing up? You know, a misfire? You know, like... People are like, what the fuck was that? You know, that sort of thing. And the guy only has, like, this big of a hole in the window. See, that didn't bother me. But Zoe Saldana was not a likable character. That's what bothers me. This was boring. There's still a lot of stupidity in it. It was mediocre. The action scenes were forgettable. I mean, the kid being a gymnast in the beginning, I don't give a fuck. There's a scene where they think they know where Zoe Saldana is, so cops come in. She basically blows up a fucking... Like, guard, like people are coming in, and she blows up a little portion of a place. I'm like, wow, I saw that done ten times better in The Professional, a.k.a. Leon. You know, hallway being blown up. Uh, killing the guy with the fucking shark stupidity. And then the other fucking thing with the, the ending. The ending is very stupid because she had her, her uncle and her uncle's mom get killed because of her dumbass. Because the guy's like... He's telling my friends you need to stop. She's like, man, I'm going to stamp. If you need to stamp. And, of course, she got them killed. She's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry now that they're dead. Like, why should, fuck should I care about anybody? 
there's no reason. So he said that was a selfish bitch. I mean, the guy told her, he's going to come up to me, come up to my mom, stop it. She's like, I don't need shit. Then when they're dead, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, fuck you, suck your own titties. And the ending is really stupid. I agree with Michael Keane on that. With, uh, for some reason, finds a compound where the bad guys are at and shoots a missile into their front door. Blows a big portion of their place up. Kills no one. I guess there's own version of, hello, but it's like, uh, <laughs> I, I, I guess those 15 years of being trained, uh, you never heard of the word stealth. If you knew the place, why didn't you sneak in? No, she doesn't. She she blows up the front door, kills no one. Um, somehow knows that the guy, bad guys take this car and she's able to drive through the fucking thing in order to stop the people in the car. Because she drives through a wall, and I'm like, how the fuck does she know that those guys got into this car and were heading out? And then she bashed through the wall. She does have x-ray vision. Is she Supergirl? What the fuck? But no, and then she drives on the fucking car, shoots the car. Um, and she handles big guns awkwardly. Like, the way she, like, there's a scene where you have the bad guys, and she's across the way shooting. The way she handles it and shooting... I don't know, it just seemed awkward. I don't know what it was. It just didn't look right, and maybe it was just me. Just She looked awkward, awkward holding the fucking guns. I don't know, she just looked awkward. You know, it just didn't seem right. And then, and then um, this pathetic fight scene in the bathroom with uh, the bad guy from Bad Boys 2. First off, it, it, the cutting is terrible. The, it seems like fucking... There are times where they speed up the camera. I swear to God, it's like they're, they're fighting. And it's like if it's like a turn or a twist. I swear, it's like they speed up the camera. Like, I don't know how the fuck to do it. It's just like Taken. I didn't see that in Taken. I definitely don't see it in Transport 1 and 2. It's almost as if this girl didn't know how to fight or wasn't quick enough so they had to speed up the camera during the fight scene and like teeny parts like a twist here or it's like I swear it seemed like they speed up the camera and the dumbest fucking thing I swear to god I think Michael Keane must have forgotten this because it was so stupid it, it had to leave his mind otherwise he would have gone insane She beats the guy up with Toothbrushes! Toothbrushes! She has toothbrushes! Like, fucking, it's not metal toothbrushes or toothbrushes with spikes. Just regular toothbrushes. She's beating the shit out of oh, 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 oh. It's fucking toothbrushes! Why don't you use toothpicks? That'd be worse! Hell, use a fucking candy bar! Like, oh, I'd be just as stupid as if I eat this. I'd be better. <laughs> Toothbrushes. Might as well be toothpicks. Toothpicks would be better. It really would. <laughs> <laughs> the only way it would have been even even uh, grander would be if she actually killed him with the, the toothbrush or toothpick. But no, she gets the gun and, you know, takes it apart and jams into the guy's neck. And then this, this fucking... I went... I literally... I'm like... Oh, the, the fat foot main bad guy gets scared... Goes to the van, drives off, and gets a phone call and says, Oh, you know, you can't kill me. You're always at the wrong place. And da 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 da. Now, the, for people who don't know, well, obviously you don't know, she had dogs. She had trained dogs, and they just was training them, you know, a certain word, they go crazy. A certain word, they go crazy. I mean, I've seen that before. 
where people train their dogs and you say a word like like kill or or even like the original Willard when uh they're like tear him up and they go right there. So that didn't bother me that, you know, she says that she has a you know, she has these dogs that with a command they go crazy. That that doesn't bother me because I've seen that done in movies before. Even again, Willard with rats, you know, tear him up and they tear or Ernest Bornine up. That's the original. Um, and the remake, I guess, too, they did that. But what killed me was she fucking knew that he was going to take the van and she she put the dogs in the van. Okay. I don't think it was the vehicle she drove with. I swear to God. I swear to God. Yeah, I'm a, Either I missed it uh, or fucking... It, my brain got damaged, and I don't remember. But I swear to God, it was not the fucking car that she was driving. It was someone else's. And she knew to take her dogs out, right, and put them into this other car. Knew that the bad guy would get into that van. Must be the van down by the river. To drown all these motherfuckers in. Yeah, it gets in a, in a black van. And she put her two daughters in the back of the van. I'm like, how the fuck did she know he was going to do that? That he was going to pick that specific van and fucking... Like... She knew that before she went in... When, like, she... She drives through with her car, shoots the shit out of it, cuts back, so she must have walked back, got her dogs, put them in this one van, just in case that he's going to pick that particular van. Like, like he could have picked what she drove in. He could have ran out and ran down the street and steal someone's fucking car. No. She, or, you know. Like, she knew that was going to happen. She knew. She knew. Yeah, my, it should have been the van down by the river and drown everybody who made this movie. It just, it's its really, it is stupid. I mean, Grant, I mean, there are like one or two things that I disagree with Michael on, like the bobby pin, that, you know, people can, I, I've seen that online, people actually describing how you do it, which is scary. It's very frightening, actually. Um... Not specifically a jail cell, but, you know, if you can do it to one lot, you'd probably do it to the others. The whole thing with the FBI guy, I thought he reacted fine with, you know, his family in danger. Um, and having a bomb under his ass for a good old minute and a half or two. Um, or the guy getting shot with, you know, sniper rifle, that whole, it, that didn't bother me. <clears throat> but a lot of, there is a lot of stupid stuff in here. It's just, again, it's boring. It's not entertaining. The action scenes are lackluster. They're lame. Um, I don't know where the budget. This film cost forty million. I don't know how the fuck he did that because you like, yeah, forty million dollars. Now, Taken. I want to see how much Taken cost. Does that has like th literally three times the amount of action and much better action? 26.5 million. Wow. Taken cost 14 million dollars less. I swear to God, it has three times the action and better action. Memorable action. And a good lead. But Taken 2 is going to be fucked up by Megatron. Megatron, Megafuck. Don't let Decepticons direct your movie! Fucking shit. Man, this movie sucks and it blows everybody's asshole. I got fucking charcoal in my pants, I don't care. But yeah, I went out of this for 30 minutes. It, this film sucks, it does. Um, you don't care about anybody. Zoe Saldana, you don't care about her character. Um, as a kid, she like. Don't give a fuck. 
as an adult, she just seemed like either, okay, she's a killer or she's fucking selfish. I don't know, she just seemed like a bitch. I mean, it's understandable, but they really handled her character wrong. Just clean a little smudge on there. But it just... Bad guys were lame. The ending was pathetic. The action scenes were... Not that plentiful, and even then, not that well done. I mean, you've seen it done better in 50 movies. Watch Transporter. Watch Transporter 2. Watch Taken Again. Watch a bunch of other movies. The Professional. Hell, you want to see a Luc Besson movie? See The Fifth Element. That's gr much better than this movie. Luc Besson, you can do better. I don't care if you just co-wrote it. You can do better than this. Stop hiring all of your meditation. God, stupidity, stupidity. I work for free. That's all you're worth. That's probably why he gets hired, because he works for free, probably. Works for rim jobs and assholes. Anyway. Anyway, fuck Columbiana. Um... Yeah, it's really stupid. Boring and shitty. So Michael King was definitely right. I don't know why I watched it, but uh, I did, and I regret it. And uh, definitely check out Michael King's review. Uh, he did a great job with it. And uh, either way, thanks for watching. Take care, and movie sucks. <sighs> It, it did suck the big fat one, so.